Hello there. Just a quick video to show you this concept um, for uh, changing the pitch of the motor sound for a racing game um, relative to the um, to the the speed. Now I don't have actual motion here. All I have is just uh, just a generic uh, Node 2D scene with a script. I have a label that will uh, show the variable for speed. I think of it like an odometer or a speedometer I should say. And um, we have a an audio 2D with a with a basic motor sound. Nothing too fancy, um, you know, just uh, you know, just something I threw together really quick in a in a sound editing program. But basically, uh, what we have is, I'll zoom in a little bit, we just have speed variable, I set it as an integer. Um, we have a max speed so that we know that we won't go above 200 or whatever you want that max speed to be. Um, the ready function just starts the motor sound playing, and then I just have a basic process function. Now obviously, if we're uh, putting in kinematic body 2Ds and uh, you know making the the cars actually move uh, we'll be using physics process and everything um, but here I'm actually using tweens to uh, make this happen I, I tried this with linear interpolation and um, it was it was okay but it, it wasn't perfect uh, I think tweens are actually the way to go and you could probably even use tweens for your motion because how I use linear interpolation for motion to slowly, or I'm sorry, gradually start and stop movement. Same thing can kind of uh, be accomplished using the tween. And I find the tween works much better for um, what we're trying to do here because I have a lot more control over it. So basically, uh, when I press the enter key, uh, we are going to set tween interpolate property uh, you know, self because this is just you know the node that we're in right now, um, and the variable speed we have to put it as a string. That's why it's in quotes. Um, is the is what we're going to be changing, and then uh, the initial value is speed, kind of like in uh, uh, linear interpolation. How you have an initial value, the value you're going to and then sort of the uh, the weight of how that changes. But in this case, in a tween, instead of it being weight, this third number is actually, well, I'm sorry, third number from your, your variable here, is actually the amount of time in which the change takes place. Right, so that actually works well for speed if I was moving an object, if I wanted the object to go from zero to whatever my speed's gonna be, in so many seconds, you know, you can really play around with this a lot. Um, and then I also use the tween to do a similar thing with my uh, motor sound. Uh, the, the, you know, the motor is the name of the, uh, the uh, audio, um, audio stream player, I couldn't think of the name. Anyway, um, so whenever the enter key is pressed, uh, we're going to be dealing with motor, we're going to be changing its pitch scale, and then we're going to start from the initial value, which we're just going to put motor dot pitch scale. So whatever value it happens to be at whenever I press the key, um, we're going to change it from one to four, or you know whatever it is, its initial value is one. We're going to change it to four, but you could change it to whatever pitch you think sounds good for your your motor for your sound effect. And just like with the uh, speed. I'm going to make it happen in the same time frame. So that actually gives it a nice parallel kind of motion between the speed and the, uh, the motor. And then if the key is released, if the, uh, if, if whenever I release the enter key, um, we're going to uh, stop whatever tween happens to be happening. That's why I did that up here, by the way, also. So, uh, so that way, we're going to go back down now, have our speed return back to zero, 
and we're gonna also take the whatever the pitch scale is whatever it happens to be at now and we're gonna return it back to one uh, I did it uh, in three seconds you know you can play with the time however you think is good I thought the motor would rev down and the speed would decrease maybe a little bit more quickly than it would increase um, and then also whenever you do a tween make sure that you always say tween dot start uh, I've had many frustrating nights of coding um, spending hours going over this part wondering what the heck did I what the heck did I do wrong in here trying all kinds of different combinations when here I was right from the get-go but I forgot to tell the tween to start so anyway and in this uh, in this process function uh, we have um, labels text constantly being set to uh, the speed variable but as a string right so uh, that's just how I set this up just to demonstrate it and it works pretty well I'll go ahead and run it for you so you can see so there's our really cheesy crappy motor sound I think and um, I think even if you did all this maybe separate from the physics process um, you know just for the sake of of uh, monitoring and changing this uh, you, you maybe you could do that but I don't see a reason why you couldn't just use the same method for uh, you know altering for manipulating whatever speed variables you are plugging into your physics um, oh, and also, uh, just one other thing I did was I set it to say that all this stuff happens only if speed is less than this top speed that I set. Um, and then all this stuff will happen and, and take everything back down only until speed uh, gets to zero. So, you know, speed is greater than zero, all this stuff will happen. So I think it works pretty well, and uh, let me know what you think. If this is a uh, maybe a better, more streamlined way of doing this than uh, what you might have been trying, uh, or if this maybe answers any questions for you. At the very least, uh, we're getting a, a look at how to utilize tweens, which are super powerful, super awesome to use. Anyway, have yourself a blessed day and happy coding.